If you want to achieve the results that nobody is achieving, then are you willing to do the things that nobody is doing? I'm going to ask for you to think about that. If you want to achieve monumental results, whether you're a sales leader or whether you're a sales professional, I'm going to ask you this question. Are you willing to do the work? I believe that the inner work that you do will fuel the outer success that you all have. Are you willing to do the work? See, the inner work, the road and the journey that you all take to your heart is going to be the single hardest thing y'all do. It is freaking scary to unpack it. But I'm here to tell you this. If you want to achieve the results that nobody is achieving, you have to be willing to do the things that nobody is doing. What makes you come alive? What are your dreams? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Furthermore, how would you define yourself? So this week, this week in my message, I want us to think about this. The monumental sales results occur when you go down the road and you go down the journey to unpacking what's in your heart. This means we have to stop looking in a dictionary to define the words that describe us. We have to get to know ourselves. I encourage you, become your own Sherlock Holmes. Become interested in what grabs your attention and tugs, and I mean tugs, on your heartstrings. You see, Understanding who you are means recognizing your shortcoming, shortcoming, excuse me, getting vulnerable with who you are. And it's putting it out there for people to view. And that might be even judged. That's okay. This means getting extremely vulnerable. And that's okay. This starts with looking in the mirror right now and saying to yourself, this is me. This is the real me and this is who I am. It's about your ability to ask yourself a few questions. So here are the questions I'd like for you to start asking yourself. Go ahead, grab a sheet of paper, grab a pen, or pull up your phone, go into your notepad section, and ask yourself these questions. You ready? Here we go. Who am I and who do I want to become? What do I want for myself? Why do I want to achieve these things? And here's the last one. How can I become who I want to be? And what actions, what actions do I need to take in order to achieve this? If you hang out with us for any length of time at Selling from the Heart, you're going to hear us say the inner work that you all do will fuel the outer success you will have. If you want long-term, and I mean long-term sales sustainability, and I know each and every one of you do, you have to be willing to do the work. It's the combination of the inner work and the outer work. We can also look at this as how are you all going to align your head and your heart and the questions that you ask yourself. The reason why I'm sharing this with you in this week's message is this, and this is deep stuff that you got to ask yourself. However, if you struggle to ask yourself deep questions, then you will struggle to ask your clients deep questions. We got to learn how to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. And it starts with being uncomfortable with ourselves. And we have to be honest with ourselves. Because how can you become ferociously, and I mean ferociously self-honest, if you struggle to deal with any discomfort in your sales life? You see, those who are willing to take these risks, step out of their comfort zone, and create some discomfort will reap the biggest rewards. It's about challenging yourself. But if you, whether you're a sales professional or whether you're a sales leader, if you cannot challenge yourself to improve then how can you challenge your clients 
to improve? It's a tough one, isn't it? But what questions will you be willing to ask yourself every day? Now, just a little bit ago, I gave you some questions to start asking yourself. But when you ask yourself empowering, deeply reflective questions, it shifts your mindset. It takes you to a whole new level and it sets you into thinking and acting differently to jumpstart your sales life. As I bring this to a close, and by the way, hey, thanks for hanging out with me this week. I really appreciate it. I'm super grateful for all of you as together we're building this movement here at Selling from the Heart. It's about bringing sincerity, substance, and giving a rip. Giving a rip about yourself, your clients, your future clients, your employer, your career. You all get where I'm going with this. I'll leave you all with a quote from Maya Angelou. And she goes on to say this, the real difficult... Excuse me, she goes on to say this. The real difficulty is to overcome how you think about yourself. The inner work that you do will set you free. Have an amazing week. Selling from the heart is making a difference. Will you join this movement that we're creating? Thank you. Reason why I'm asking is because your clients and your future clients, you see, they would rather connect And do business with a sales professional who sells from the heart as opposed to a sales rep who is an empty suit. Take care.